This is such a special moment. I want everybody to experience this. This is a total game changer, a sim changer. Welcome to the channel, everybody. It gives me great pleasure. And I am beyond excited to introduce to you today the very first consumer level VR headset from Vario. And here she is. This is the Vario Aero. And it is absolutely thanks to you guys in the comments. This past month, I have been trying to advocate for the VR community as much as possible so that Vario can really hear our cries. We need a headset like this and they have delivered. Now, let's talk about the specs, okay? This has a 35 pixels per degree mini LED display. In fact, it's dual mini LED with a resolution of 2000. 880 by 2720 it's actually brighter than the vr3 as well actually that's worth mentioning and it has custom made variable resolution aspheric lenses this is the big deal this is the first thing about this headset you know everyone that aspheric lenses are the future for vr it means no god rays it means an incredibly wide sweet spot pretty much edge to edge clarity and no mirror that display literally feels like it's not even there you are inside of that vr immersion i have been testing this out okay because i've had this headset for about a month now so that means this video is not just going to be my raw and first impressions it's going to be everything i've learned about this headset as i've been flying in microsoft flight simulator in dcs il2 x plane 11 aerofly fs2 every single sim including elite dangerous and i'm going to be talking about all those sims and talk about the software the good and the bad everything i've learned is this headset anywhere near as good as the vr3 i've got to be honest guys no it's not it's actually better it's better than the vr3 for a number of different reasons first and foremost no subscription pretty big deal it's also much cheaper than the VR3, of course, as well. And in fact, at the time of this recording, you should be able to pre-order this device right now. But these are the things, okay? These are the important things of why I think this is better. First of all, the cable is super, super light, okay? It is way lighter because it only needs one breakout box. It's also, the headset itself is incredibly light. Like, look at this. I am holding this with just my thumb. And look how balanced it is. Basically, it's just hanging off my thumb. And it's just so light that it is literally the most comfortable headset I've ever worn. I did say the VR3 was, but because this is so light, it has the same adjustable sort of uh, areas here on your head and on the back. It means that this just sits on your head all day long if you want to. And you just don't notice the weight or anything. But also, what I think is quite amazing here is that they've managed to implement the really important things of the VR3. This thing has auto motorized lenses. So it has auto IPD adjustment, eye tracking and foveated rendering as well. So what that means is, is that whoever puts this headset on never has to adjust the IPD slider ever again. You just put it on your head. You hear the motors doing their thing. You look at the dot. It sees your eyes and that is it. You get a crystal clear image every single time. Now, some of you might know my partner, Melissa. She has an IPD of 58. She puts this on her head straight away. The headset knows of her really crazy small IPD. And then she has said categorically, this is the most clearest and most just nicest VR headset she's ever used on her eyes. Every other headset gives her eye strain this one does not okay my ipd 65 so when i give it back you know i want it back thanks melissa you've been in it an hour because <laughs> she was in it for ages i put it on my head it automatically adjusts i know my ipd is 65 i've had it measured at the opticians it gets my ipd correct every time that is a massive feature it might not be the most sexiest feature in the world but it's something that means that every time you put this on you are going to get the clearest picture and you don't have to worry about your IPD. It will do it all for you. That is big news. It does not have, however, it does not have 
hand tracking okay that has been as you can see there the biggest thing the biggest difference about the only difference uh in terms of the sort of cosmetic sort of appearance of the headset is that it does not have look you can see my light in there it's so shiny and new you don't have these cameras that means no hand tracking so that is a shame i must admit that is a shame but it's one area that i'm happy to to forego perhaps even they might be able to add a module on anyway in the sort of future but uh, that means this is so much lighter but it does not have hand tracking so if that's important to you you might want to look elsewhere anyway let's have a quick look at the unboxing process of your brand new vario aero what an exciting occasion that will be as you can see there you get plenty of information including a very detailed setup guide and i have to say the vario based software is the best in the business i think the only other software that comes close is the Pimax PyTool uh, and the Vive software, but it, it, you know, it works on all hardware and it's very easy to set up. Also, as you can see here, that's the main box. Very, very distinctive Vario logo. We're just gonna now open that box up for the first time. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Oh, how exciting. And there she is, your brand new Vario Aero. And as I say, the first time I actually uh, picked it out of the box, I could not believe how light that thing is. Incredible. I just love the professional look about it. It's very, very nice indeed. And of course, that cable is super, super light as well. Now, you can see there the LED, mini LED screens, beautiful 35 pixels per degree display. And then here's the breakout box. I'm pleased to say there's only one because really it doesn't have that focus display. It doesn't need it. It's not compatible with SteamVR anyway and you are good to go. When you put this on and you have a long session, it's been quite muggy. It won't be now by the time you watch this video, but it has been quite muggy in the UK. You can feel a bit of cold air, like a brush of cold air on your face. And it is, I can't tell you how nice it feels. And actually for people who get a little bit nauseous in VR, that is actually a really great feature of that fan design. You see the vents here as well. The, sh the actual sort of design of it is exactly the same. The build quality is exactly the same. It feels supremely comfortable, as I've mentioned, but also very, very robust and like it's going to last a long time. Now, when you put the headset on for the first time, which I'm going to do now, although I've put this on quite a few times now, is make sure you put it on from the front like this, okay? So with just this at the back here, this is all metal as well. It feels really nice. You put it on from the side here, from the front and then you adjust it like this and then once you've adjusted the back you can then adjust the top bit here as well there we go and then you look into the screen it does some clever really clever things it tells you that you've your eyes have been calibrated and then you suddenly have the best vr image you've ever seen it is absolutely incredible so anyway let's also look at the software and i'm going to show you that now Okay, so as you can see in front of me, this is the Vario Base software, which is another reason why I love this headset more than the VR3. It's been heavily updated, okay? There's quite a number of features that I'm proud to say I've been even involved with, actually. And even by the time this recording comes out, I think it might have even more features because please bear in mind that this software and this headset is actually a bit of a prototype. You can see, you can see my uh, little ring mirror. Uh, light on the headset there that's hilarious but that just shows you how beautiful it looks as well so this is the vario software okay and i'm looking at this through the headset because the vario software i'm using now which will be what you'll be using uh you're able to see your virtual desktop which is absolutely brilliant and i can work with my desktop and it's actually way clearer than my monitor okay this is 4k resolution in terms of how it looks but in a vr headset this means that no longer you need a massive 4K monitor. You could even work in VR on your desktop, without a doubt. Everything is clear, crystal clear. But anyway, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here a little bit. But this is the software, as you can see. And here we have the automatic IPD adjustment. You can actually switch that off uh, because obviously I use it most of the time. So I have mine, but you can switch that on and it will automatically adjust, say, if you're, you know, using it between different users. This is a new thing as well from Vario. We have an option to use OpenVR or OpenXR. Now that's another huge area that has been improved. Now for say Microsoft Flight Simulator, 
you can actually use Vario's own OpenXR runtime platform. And let me tell you, the performance is absolutely brilliant. In fact, I'll put a few images now of me flying around Innsbruck. And even though that's the mirror, I think you'll agree that that is pretty damn smooth. Of course, I am running a beastly computer by Stormforce. This is a i9-10900K with an RTX 3090. I've also, though, tried this with my AMD system that I'm borrowing at the moment, uh, which isn't quite so beastly, and it also works really well. And this is another thing that I want to point out. There's been quite a number of different headsets over the years that only work with certain systems and certain types of hardware. The Aero actually works, as far as I can see, uh, with both AMD and Intel based systems running Nvidia cards as well. So that is great news. So it should be literally plug in and play. It's amazing software here. There's so much you can do with this, but I thought I'd give you a bit of a quick sort of uh, overview of what this does. There's a lot of things you can change here and this is going to, you know, improve over time. So that is great. Anyway, let's now go into Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm going to explain to you what I can actually see in a headset. And I'm also going to give you some through the lens footage as I'm talking as well. See you in a moment. Okay, so welcome back. We're now in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're at Carnarvon in Wales in the UK. And I've actually picked this place because I want to drive home a certain point about these aspheric lenses, okay? Of course, the cockpit is super, super sharp. And the way I can describe that is Reverb G2 owners that are out there, and I know a lot of you on the channel are Reverb fans, you know that crystal clear center, that really, really nice center in that very tiny sweet spot. Imagine that, but sh way sharper than that, over like almost the entire vision. That is what it's like in this headset, okay? You can look around with your eyes and not your head. But the point about this headset with having aspheric lenses is that I can look into the distance there not only can I see every single blade of grass here, I can also see it over there, okay? And you see that mountainside over there? I can pick every single tree out and there is zero screen door effect, okay? I cannot see any pixels at all. And that effect in VR is absolutely mind-blowing. And I think with the LED sort of uh, display as well, you're getting beautiful colours. I have to say though that the black levels, while they're much better than what you'd normally find in most of the VR headsets, in fact all of them if I'm honest, uh, they're not OLED levels of black. Now I think some of that might be down to the software and really tapping into the dynamic range of this headset and Vario are looking into that, <laughs> pardon the pun, but I must admit of all the headsets I've tried it absolutely has the most natural colours that I've come across. That is including all of the headsets I've tried, okay? Uh, right, anyway, I'm just going to uh, just... I'm not going to start this up. I'm just going to put the uh, avionics on. Just going to put those on for a moment, just so I can explain to you what I can see when all this fires up. Okay, let's just do that now. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, guys, every time I stare at this cockpit or any cockpit in VR with this headset on, I literally, my mind is blown every time. It's absolutely a joyous experience from someone who has seen where VR has come from to now. It is a very special time and this headset is the absolute pinnacle of what we can achieve right now in terms of display clarity. It is incredible. In fact, this is the headset that's going to be the new king of clarity. It was the Reverb G2, but unfortunately, it's not the Reverb G2 anymore. This headset is by far the clearest. And to be honest, I can't see a headset manufacturer beating this clarity for a very, very long time because a lot of the manufacturers are not going to be using aspheric lenses. It's expensive. It really is. And the way Vario have been able to do this, and also, by the way, a massive, massive improvement from the VR3, and it's another reason why I prefer this headset, uh, the Aero, is the distortion, the warping that sometimes you get with aspheric lenses has all but gone and particularly in Microsoft Flight Simulator when I used to look around like this in the VR3 
the text there in the center display would move with me and it would kind of get a bit distorted. I'm not getting any of that here. This feels as natural as any other VR headset. I have to say DCS is not quite the same. In fact, I'll overlay some footage now of me in the F-18 Hornet. And you know one thing? I have noticed I'm now a better pilot because now I can hit that carrier deck every single time. And that is simply because I can see further out. I can see the lights. I can even see the cables on the carrier, which makes it so much easier when I'm getting my sort of uh, situational awareness and, you know, just the... Uh, sort of awareness of the environment. It makes a massive difference. It really does. Also, I have to say, I have done a lot of IFR flying because now you can absolutely use VR for IFR cockpit intensive flying. In fact, I've done a few. I'll put some uh, footage in now of me flying into Manchester with almost zero visibility. I did the entire flight completely IFR, not looking out the window hardly at all and it was an absolute joy. I could totally use the headset. My eyes were so happy, and that's something I know it sounds strange to say, but I've said it before with the VR3. You know, when you get out of VR after a long session, you sometimes feel a little bit sort of, you need to adjust to the real world. Well, this feels like the real world. It absolutely feels like I'm looking in virtual reality, but with my own eyes. It is that good, guys, honestly. Now, I've also got to pinpoint a few areas that aren't so good. I think the big one, the big elephant in the room here for me is that there is no integrated sort of headphone solution. I have come to realize though, guys, and I'll just get out of VR now. <laughs> I have come to realize that actually most of you, in fact, a lot of you don't really want integrated audio. So this depends on your sort of preference. For me personally, I really do prefer sort of an audio solution. And actually, this is a great opportunity for sort of other manufacturers to develop um, perhaps an add-on audio solution for this headset, because it so could do with one. I really do feel that way. Having said that, I know that some of you would prefer to use your own uh, headphones or even your own fancy speakers. And for me personally, is it a deal breaker? Well, when you've got visuals like this, absolutely not. It is not a deal breaker at all. Right, anyway, let's see some through the lens video of what this headset looks like. Now, there's a few, um, shall I say, demos as well. As you can see here, we're looking at a supermarket and every single uh, item is absolutely crystal clear. It's absolutely incredible. But also, here's a bit of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, it doesn't come across that well, and if you're a bit susceptible to flashing images, then please be careful watching this. But it's the best I can do right now. I will do definitely some more sort of in-depth uh, through the lens videos in the near future. But I have to say, it is absolutely epic. It really is. And you can see here that you can read every dial you can see every blade of grass. You can see every mark, even the fingerprints. In fact, actually, that's something I didn't even notice. You can see fingerprints on that G3000 display in the TBM. Never seen it before. I can see it in this headset. Pretty amazing. But what about things I don't like about it? Well, there's not a lot, as you can probably tell from this video. I am so excited about this. This is what we've needed for a very long time in the VR community. Absolutely. But... I have to say the audio is the thing that niggles me the most. I wish there was a way of having sort of really integrated audio onto this, but I know a lot of you guys aren't really bothered by that. And I do feel perhaps that is a opportunity for another manufacturer to produce a sort of add-on for this. That'd be really cool. I can't really see anyone competing with this. This is the Varia Aero. I'll be producing more content on this, more in-depth videos. Please let me know in the comments what do you want to know now? Do you want to see more through the lens shots? Do you want to see some comparison tests? Just let me know, guys, and I will do my best to be active in the comments and produce the content that you're looking for, because this, this is the biggest thing that's happened for the VR flight sim and race sim community for a very, very long time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Take care. This is unbelievable. This is absolutely un friggin' believable. How is this even possible? Oh my goodness me. 
This is such a special moment. I want everybody to experience this. This is a total game changer, a sim changer. I have never seen anything like this. And to think that this headset is a consumer level headset. We don't have to pay a subscription and it looks every bit as good as the Vario VR3. This is an absolute revelation. Oh my God, guys, I, I actually feel emotional here. I feel emotional because I know what this means, not just to me, but to you guys. I know what this means. We've wanted this for so long. We've wanted this experience for so long and we've got it. <sighs> okay, I've got a bit of grit in my eye here. Let's just uh, move this on. This is just too good to be true. This is too good to be true. I am so, so excited for the VR community. This is what we've wanted for so long. Thank you, Vario, for giving us this. This is it. This is it. It's an absolute dream come true.